Tony Khan is teasing a major announcement. We are talking about it in this video, what that announcement might be and why it's actually a good thing. Also, on top of that, we got to talk about why an AEW wrestler turned down WWE. And then, yes, again, we do have some more Impact Wrestling news for those who actually want to try watching Impact Wrestling. This video is for you. And if you guys want more news videos, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell seven days a week. I'm keeping you updated on, on everything that's happening in pro wrestling. Also, check out the links in the description down below because I also offer more content content through various channels. With that being said, Impact Wrestling has announced that they have a new channel coming to YouTube TV. This will now be included in YouTube's YouTube TV's sport package. Uh, so the Impact Wrestling channel and Fight Network are now both going to be on YouTube TV. This is massive because YouTube TV is a very popular streaming service. So for context, if you guys are unaware of how it works, uh, YouTube TV is like a cable TV service. However, it's streaming based. It's based on the internet, right? So uh, the reason why I bring this up though is because YouTube TV is one of the more popular ones. There's YouTube TV, Direct TV Stream, Sling TV, Hulu has Live TV, um, and then there's a couple other ones. Now, the reason why this is massive is because Impact Wrestling has obviously been growing. They're trying to do bigger and better things. It obviously takes time. As you guys know, I support the Impact product. There's a lot of people talking about how good Impact has been on a consistent basis. Wrestling media is starting to turn more attention to Impact Wrestling, which is always a great thing because there are a ton of wrestlers um, who could you know, benefit from working there. Uh, this is massive, though. The idea that Impact Wrestling could be on YouTube TV now is like, this is a thing where I think people in general, um, unfortunately, right, when it comes to paying for cable, like some people don't pay for cable service, right? Some people don't pay for streaming. Some people want the ability to have cable TV without a contract, and you can't necessarily do that. So your next option is streaming TV services. This finally gives people an option to, to watch Impact, because keep in mind, you can watch AEW, you can watch WWE, you can watch a lot of stuff on YouTube TV, but there's still a lot of things that you can't watch. Even certain local sports cha uh, channels you can't watch. So as things like this are announced, it's just a really good thing in general for the wrestling industry. And it's a good thing for the television and cable industry because YouTube TV is a serious player, but the lack of content hurts them. Um, so for those who actually have YouTube TV now, you don't have to worry about the, the Impact Insiders program. You don't have to worry about buying their app or anything like that. You can now watch Impact Wrestling on YouTube TV. And I actually am very excited about that. All right, guys, in our next story of the day, we are going to talk about Jade Cargill. Uh, if you didn't know this, she was actually offered an opportunity to wrestle in WWE. Uh, so she actually turned down a full-blown offer from WWE. Uh, she had a tryout with the company. And basically what ended up happening, she was talking to uh, Chris Jericho on his podcast. And she explained why things didn't work out between her and, and WWE. The problem that they found that they had mixed feelings about was that I don't need wrestling. I don't need to do this. A lot of people, especially at the tryout, they need this. This is how they feed their families, and they've been doing this forever. For them to get to this point, they would give anything and everything to do it. They were like, we want you. We're going to sign you, but we are kind of worried about how bad you want this. We're not just some reality show. I didn't know anything about a reality show. I was so far away from knowing what was happening at that time with wrestling. I was like, what? We're not just glitter and lights and camera. Also, you have a child. What are you going to do? Now, at the time, my daughter was two. What are you going to do about your daughter? Thankfully, because I have money, we can pay a tutor to help because we have to relocate to Orlando. I can do that. I can have 24-hour nanny to take care of that as well. They were like grilling me about it, and I was kind of put off. My spouse can travel with me wherever we go. This could be easy for me. I thought all about all the precautions and have been warned about the travel. I get it. Uh, so then the next thing is, I get what you're saying, but this is your family now. I want you to know that and I want you to get it and understand it. And this is what WWE said to Jade Cargill. Now, keep in mind, Jade Cargill, instead of signing with WWE, signed with AEW. And I just want to say, for as much as sometimes I praise or criticize AEW and WWE and Impact, you know, I, I, I'm very down the middle, right? But this whole notion that WWE has, like, oh, this is your life, right? Like, this is going to be your family. Like, this is your... I don't get it, man. I don't get it. As somebody who's worked full time for for very, very big companies in the past, I have, right? And these people, and I don't know if it's like a thing in America because I, I've talked to people that live in like other countries, but it's a big issue in America. The the work life balance is insane compared to other countries. And the reason why I bring this up is because any company that's telling you to make your job your life, it's not the company for you. It's not. 
Like, I understand you're, you're working a lot, you're traveling a lot, and everything like that. But if you don't have some sort of work-life balance, if you don't have this flexibility, I think it's bullshit. And I think that's one thing that's made AEW more appealing to wrestlers than WWE. This whole notion that WWE is going to be your life, dude, that, that shit is over with. Like, people are done with that. Like, people are not... And it's not just in the wrestling business. It's everywhere. People are fed up with being told, hey, this job is going to be your life. Like, we control you. We own you. Like, no, nobody's putting up with that shit anymore. So, good on Jade Cargill. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions on her as a wrestler and stuff. But the only way she's going to get better is by continuing to work at it. And, uh, you know, the thing is, she showed up in Chicago promoting AEW. And she looks like a champion. And she was at the Bulls game, and she represents herself well. And that's what AEW needs. And I think WWE completely missed the boat. And I think WWE is completely disconnected from what people, humans, actually want. And I have to bring that up. Nonetheless, guys, a final story of today's video. Very interesting stuff. Tony Khan, we're going to actually just blow up this image really quick. Tony Khan tweeted this out today. In addition to a guarantee that we can have some great wrestling tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central on TNT Drama, I am planning to drop some newsworthy info on tonight's AEW Rampage. Thank you to everybody who supports Dynamite and Rampage. Come tonight for the great wrestling. Stay for the scoops. And that, my friends, is very, very, very interesting stuff coming from Tony Khan. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because you may have missed my previous video. AEW is reportedly signing Keith Lee. And uh, I'm still, you know, I think a lot of people think I like A AEW. Strange, because if you just listen to my words, you can tell that I, I support and praise and criticize everybody pretty evenly. Um, I've been saying for a while that AEW needs to stop making debuts happen for a pop. It doesn't have to be a surprise. So if it is, in fact, with the news that they are signing Keith Lee, I appreciate this a lot because I have been saying this for months and months and months. Not every signing, not every debut has to just randomly show up on TV. It's okay to promote them. It's okay to post vignette, something like that. And we don't know what this announcement is, but the idea that it could very well be a new signing or signings is a fantastic thing. Um, and I hope AEW does that. I hope AEW, even if I don't like who they sign or what they sign or who they bring in or how they bring them in or if it's too many people, whatever, right? The idea that AEW will start utilizing television correctly it makes a lot of sense because i like keith lee i want him to work out but if he goes to aew quick pop doesn't show up anymore that's very off-putting we all know this but if aew announces it in advance right now i'm intrigued like if you're telling me keith lee's debut is next week or you're telling me mia yim debuts next week or you're telling me any of this stuff right if that's what you're telling me i want to watch your show next week but if I have to watch your show and then possibly get a surprise or not, no surprise, it's it just, it's not a good feeling. So my point that I'm making is very good on AEW for promoting this announcement. Some people think this is like some clickbait type of shit where Tony Khan is going to get people to watch his show for the scoop and that's it. Look, Tony Khan is not going to, he's going to do what any promoter would do. He's going to promote the show. He wants you to watch the show. Okay. So he's going to tell you that there's some news. Now, if Tony Khan doesn't deliver great news, then of course, yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Do I think that's an issue? Absolutely not. I'm not even concerned. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think the announcement is? Can't wait to see your feedback. We'll talk about it later. Peace.